think for the most part, we can all agree that styling shorts isn't the easiest thing to do. I know a lot of people are insecure about their thighs and legs, which adds a bit of unnecessary pressure to an outfit that you just don't get with pants, skirts, or trousers. Today's video is meant to serve as inspiration to step outside your comfort zone and make some outfits with shorts. I believe in you, I know you can do it. I know we can do it. <laughs> All the items used will be linked down below for reference. For this first outfit, we have a really clean uniformity between the hoodie and these jorts, and the pink mock toe derbies work as the statement for the outfit. The hoodie is by Basket Case Gallery and is one of my favorites. The Obama Matrix graphic on the front is hilarious. Jorts are bare knuckles, derbies are collegium, and the socks are by Druthers NYC, a really dope sustainable brand that doesn't get the attention it deserves. It seems that a lot of people have a love-hate relationship with jorts. I know a lot of women only like seeing it on other girls. I know a lot of dudes like their jorts to go below the knee, and there are so many people who just don't understand the term. The term jorts comes from an abbreviation of jean shorts. My opinion on jorts is they feel like my childhood in the 2000s. I remember seeing rappers wearing them and I also have this image of my uncle at a barbecue wearing them, even though that my uncle lived thousands of miles away from me or hundreds of miles away from me. Let me know your opinion on jorts down in the comments, I'm curious to know. This top is by 316. Loafers are by GH Bass and are one of my favorite pairs of loafers. This outfit is par for the course for me. Very, very simple and clean cut. One of the greatest style nuggets I can give you is that your outfits look more impressive if you implement layering. Simple outfits, while they look good, aren't going to earn you the same applause as layering and detail oriented outfits. All of the outfits in this video are going to err on the side of simplicity but adding crossbody bags, accessories, or unique layers will really help you stand out. And if you happen to be a girl and are watching this video, even elements of makeup, hair care, and other things of that nature do a really good job of helping elevate an outfit. These shorts are Minresa MFG's Island Ram shorts. This top is by A Kind of Guys. The crossbody bag is Story MFG, and the shoes are Suikoke's Mock Injections, which are made up of recycled material. With this outfit, I am on the beaches of the Caribbean, living my very best life. But I'm actually just in Colorado in the mountains in the summer. Is anyone else a big movie person? Lauren prefers TV shows over movies, so sometimes I'm left watching movies on my lonesome. And one of the movies I finally got around to watching was The Curious Case of Benjamin Button. Really emotional movie, by the way. I didn't cry, but my tear ducts were acting up, if you know what I mean. I don't know about this outfit, though. I'm trying to learn how to style Belgian-styled loafers. Style, style, style. It's a lot of use of the word style. But these loafers are by Morhas. The top is Cotton's quarter zip and the socks are Tommy Hilfiger. Anyone have any suggestions on styling Belgian styled loafers? Maybe you have to wear pants with them, I don't know. Outfit numero cinco. I wore this exact outfit while in Montreal last summer. I miss Montreal, I love Montreal. Shout out Kyron. <laughs> This summer has been less of a travel summer because Lauren and I do plan on moving to New York City, which is definitely going to be a big change and I can't wait to bring you guys along for that journey. This top is one of my favorites, though it needs to be ironed. It is by Beams Plus from Canoe Club. Loafers are once again GH Basswegian's tasseled no, what am I saying? These are GH Bass Weijin. They'll be linked down below the exact name. And this hemp tote bag is brandless, but still goes with the outfit very nicely. One of my favorite go-to pairs of shorts are these nylon baggies by Porter James Sports. The fashion bros and fashion MFs probably won't consider this an outfit unless I throw in a crossbody bag or have crazy amounts of accessories, but when it's 100 degrees out, dying of heat related causes is not my prerogative. Wearing something I stay cool in and can walk miles and miles in is my prerogative. This top I actually picked up at a vintage shop here in Denver. The shoes are John New Balance 990s. Calm outfit, but I really like it. 
For a lot of these outfits, I would actually include bags with them, but I decided not to because I think it would get really repetitive. I only have about three crossbody bags, which could be a lot to you or could be a little bit to you. At least in my opinion, I think it would get repetitive. This top is by Collegium and is an amazing option for summer shirts. Shirts. <laughs> On feet are the icons of the moment, the Birkenstock Boston. Birkenstocks are so comfortable bro quick story i was playing a bit of volleyball and i was wearing my new balance 990s actually uh the 990s are really comfortable so it's not like there's a big difference in terms of like comfort but actually once i got home and slipped into my burks i floated to my bed and then proceeded to watch tiktok <laughs> I know it's a cool story, right? The moral of the story is Burks are just really comfortable, okay? That's all I'm trying to say. Burks are really comfortable. For this next outfit, I wanted to mix together some items that I had never done so before. I don't know if it hits like that, but oh well. Fashion is about personal exploration and having fun. The moment I stop having fun with it, I'm gonna be done with it. Shout out to Drake. At least. I think Drake said that in one of his songs. This jacket is from an independent creator out of the Bay Area. Out of the Bay Area. See, I get tongue tied easy. Out of the Bay Area, his brand is Severed Circles. The title of the creator tee is from the Igor concert I went to back in 2019. And you should know the rest if you haven't been skipping around. But in case you have, the loafers are GH Bass Weijin and the socks are Capital. I guess I didn't say the socks are Capital before. These are Capital cotton socks. This outfit feels very European to me for some reason. Looking back, I should have went with a different pair of socks though. And my camera is kind of overexposing this entire look, but oh well, work with me here. This is an outfit I would wear to do some exploring in one of Greece's coastal towns grab some pizza after a full day of walking and probably spill a bit of the red sauce on my shirt laugh about it and look at the sunset in the view that's where my mind goes the top is Bemati boa shorts are by a black owned brand called frederick scott shoes are collegium and the socks are once again capital out of all of the outfits that i've showcased in this video so far this one might be my absolute favorite. This top is by Harego and it is stunningly beautiful. I always bring it out in the spring and to me, it just embodies energy and life. I know a lot of dudes don't like wearing flowers and things of that nature, but trust me, bro. I'm talking to all the bros out there right now because all the sisters, they get it. Like all the sisters and, and everybody, you know, women's wear embraces these kind of things, but men's wear often tries to like be too manly about it. I think this is like elegance, this is beauty. I love this outfit so, so much. And I love this top so, so much. Harego was founded by a Indian man named Harsh Agarwal. And you can really see that cultural impact coming through this piece as well. There you have it, 10 outfit ideas you can use for shorts. Let me know which one was your favorite down in the comment section. And as always, I'm spreading peace, love and positivity in 2023. So that means I'm spreading peace, love, and positivity to you from me. Wherever you are in the world, have a wonderful rest of your day. Abianto. Peace. Yo, what is good post vid vid? Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Here's a fist bump for the one time. Bop. Hashtag PVV down in the comments. Let me know you made it to the end of the video. That's two of three for the week. Let's get to the third one. <laughs>